Do you think it's realistic that uh, you're going to do two or three courses, work on coding part-time or even full-time for three months, and then you're going to get hired as a professional developer making 100k a year? How realistic do you think that is, right? Well, I can tell you it's not very realistic at all. Uh, it doesn't happen. It may happen once in a while somebody's really, really lucky, but no. The reason why developers make a lot of money relative to so many other professions is that it's, uh, it's, it's hard to learn. It takes time. When most people give up, the people who eventually become pro developers haven't given up. They put the effort into it, they develop the skills. So it's going to take some time. How long does it take? Depends on you. I figure you can get a, your entry level job, your first job with maybe 300 hours of work. And that's not just doing tutorials. Tutorials are a very smart part, a small part of the process. The key is actually to, as quickly as possible, is to get your foot in the door building something real. Even simple websites, WordPress sites, doesn't matter. You just want to get in, get in there and you want to start actually building something. Because in the process of building, is where you're going to really develop your skills. You have to build something to develop your skills. You have to be careful watching a lot of these YouTuber coders out there. I can tell you a lot of them haven't worked in the field for real. Some have, but a lot of them haven't. A lot of them are just professional course creators. So you have to be careful because there is a nuance to development that you can only learn building things, not doing tutorials. Some of the biggest YouTubers out there in the coding space, they've told me personally that they've never built actual real projects. They've never had a job as a coder. So, as I said, there's a lot of subtleties and nuance, a lot of things you gotta know, a lot of best practices, a lot of things that you have to, uh, have to uh, develop skills in. I call it the nerd eyes. Um, that you can only get through building things, not from doing tutorials. Doing tutorials is like, if you're a martial artist, like doing katas or forms. They have some limited capacity and they actually become much more useful, as a side note, if you've, uh, if you've actually been in a ring, you fought a bit or been on a street, several street fights, then the forms could come in handy. But if you're just doing forms and you never actually get in a ring, you're never going to be a good fighter. Um, tutorials, coding tutorials are just like doing forms. You could do a hundred tutorials and you'll never be good. You have to actually build things. You have to get in there and get your hands dirty. So this takes time. Getting back to the point of the video, I think realistically you're looking at about 300 hours of work before you get your first entry level gig, meaning you're making, you know, not minimum wage, but above that. But most importantly, you're actually developing real world skills you will be surprised how much more you learn when you actually build something versus doing tutorial. So what I have people do in my mentoring group, they learn the fundamentals, they build their first website, which we review, we make sure everything's cool. Then you go out there and you do two to three small free freelance projects. Put up somebody's WordPress site, implement somebody's Stripe, uh, you know, work on their Shopify, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter actually. And uh, that's how they really learn the craft. You do a few of those projects, that will open you up to job opportunities, paid gigs, and then your first job, you take it. No matter what the job pay is, if it's a paid job, you take it. Why? Because the first job, the employer is actually taking a lot of risk with you because you're new, you're a noob. And it takes time to train noobs and that costs money and it costs time and it takes effort. So you wanna get that first job no matter what the cheap job, take it. Why? Because six months later, you're going to get six months of training, not only for free, you will have been paid to train. Isn't that interesting? Um, typically, you'll find yourself, the average person, after about a year of entry-level job, assuming you keep learning, you keep developing your skill sets, you keep developing your soft skills as well, not just technical, uh, then you start getting the raises. You'll start hitting those six figures, at least in North America. Within three years, three to four years, you'll hit that. And then it's, it's all sweet. So there you go. That's the reality of the situation. Doing a couple of tutorials, spending three months, it's not realistic to think you're going to get the 100K job. Let's, uh, let's get real.